welcome back to my channel my name is amanda if this is your first time seeing me hey y'all uh, it's early y'all it is about 6 15 right now and i'm on my way to work so today i'm actually gonna be taking you guys with me on my work trip um i am starting a two-day trip uh sorry for the lighting is bad i'm starting a two-day trip and uh it's a pretty easy trip so i figured this would be a perfect opportunity for me to take you guys along with me uh i normally would take the train but i'm just being lazy this morning so i'm actually gonna call an uber to drop me off at the airport because i just don't feel like taking the train and the bus this morning i just i just don't feel like it but yeah i thought this would be a cool trip for you guys to take me on because it's only two days and it doesn't require a lot of me filming so there's that uh and so today i have three flights we overnight um, my overnight is actually in New York, which is kind of weird. That happens sometimes. We have certain trips that have us with the New York overnight. Um, now, if I actually live close enough to the airport we're staying at and it was a long enough overnight, I guess I could technically come home, but it's a little too far and it's only a 12 hour overnight. So I'm just going to stay at the hotel. It's actually a pretty cool hotel, one that I've never stayed at before, so I'm excited to show you guys that. But let me stop rambling and let me go ahead and call my Uber. Hey y'all, so I made it to Nashville. Um, I just went and got coffee and uh, got some Starbucks, got some breakfast. But, so my first flight was not bad. It only had like 17 passengers, so it wasn't bad at all. So yeah, we have about 45, uh, I think minutes before we board for the next flight. So I'm just sitting here chilling out. Fun fact about Nashville, they're doing, Nashville's currently in a remodeling phase. They're redoing the terminals and whatnot, and they've ripped off the carpet that was, used to be, the whole terminal used to be covered in this carpet. It was a god awful ugly carpet, but I guess that carpet is like famous. People were just so upset that they were gonna rip off the carpet, and that carpet actually has an, its own Instagram page, which I think it has like thousands of followers, but people were trying to like save the carpet. So for the most part, they've ripped it up, but I think they are leaving it in certain sections of the airport. Um, but I'm just glad it's off of like the main floor because it's just dumb to have carpet in an airport because if you've ever had to hurry through an airport pulling your luggage on carpet, like that is tough. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. So next flight, we fly to Boston and then we have, I think like a three hour sit in Boston. Probably gonna get some lunch and then we have a short flight from Boston back to New York. So it's not a terrible day. My crew's really good. Uh, the flight attendant I'm working with, she's super sweet. She's someone I know that I've flown with before. So yeah, I will talk to you guys again when I get to Boston. I made it to Boston and now I'm on the hunt for some food. So I'm heading over to a different terminal because the one I landed in doesn't have any good food options. So I'm gonna walk over and see what is in this other terminal. I find it so strange and I haven't gotten used to the fact that the airports are still so empty. I'm just so used to them being packed all the time that it's just so weird. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like it. Not having a lot of people around, but it's still very, very strange. So 
So I walked all the way over to that other terminal just to find out that all the food options over there were closed. So came back to my terminal and there was one place open, but it just didn't have anything that I really wanted. So I actually just stopped by the gift shop and bought a bag of m and So I'm just going to eat those and chill out here. When we landed here in Boston, we realized we were actually going to be losing our plane. So we had to get all our luggage off and our new plane doesn't get here for like another two hours. So I'm just going to sit here and eat my M&M's. I'll get food when I get to the hotel tonight. Probably just watch a show and I will just talk to you guys again when I make it to New York. So I made it to JFK. The person I'm flying with, she um, left something on the plane. So we're waiting. I'm waiting for her to, she had to run back and grab what she's, what she's left. It's about a 15, 20 minute walk from this terminal to our hotel so yeah I'll talk to you guys in a bit You guys, I made it to my room. This is probably one of the cutest hotels I've ever stayed in. So we're staying at the TWA Hotel, which is attached to JFK. Uh, it's like a throwback retro style hotel. I cannot wait to walk around. I'm gonna change and go walk around, but let me do a little quick room tour for you guys. So, so this is when you first walk in the door. That's the door. It has this cute little bar area set up right here. I love this, look at the little glasses hanging then it has this little area where you can hang your coats and whatnot and then on this side is the bathroom it has one of those like sliding doors and then you walk in and how cute is this you guys this mirror is adorable this bathroom is adorable uh and it has you know toilet whatever uh a cute the stand-up shower this is beautiful and then you walk in and it has like a little seating area, put my luggage there, a little desk area with the TV, this cute little chair, this enormous window, which actually, uh, the way the hotel's set up, it either looks out at the runways or at the terminal. So this kind of looks like, it's the terminal out there, or uh, the runway, you can see the planes lined up. And this is one of the walking jet bridges from the air train into terminal five which is the JetBlue terminal. And then the bed, king size bed with these really cool retro pictures on top. Yeah. This room is so adorable. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do though is close those blinds because anybody can see in here. and I'm not about that life. Uh, so let me do that and I'm gonna get changed and this hotel is so cute. I wanna go explore and I also need to find some food. So yeah. All right, I'm ready to go explore. I have my hotel swag on. This is how I always dress on overnight sweats, sneakers. Always have a hoodie in my bag. You can I can I can never take do a trip without a hoodie. But all right, let's go do some sightseeing.
made it back to the room. Oh my God, y'all, this hotel is so adorable. And I walked around for maybe about 15, 20 minutes. I know there has to be other sections of um, the hotel that I didn't quite see. It's just, it's really big. And um, I was kind of focused on food too. So there was that, but it's so cute. There's so many like little pockets and like little hidden areas. I went up to the pool, you guys saw that. That is amazing. So it's an infinity pool and it's heated. So it's that pool and that rooftop bar is open, they said year round. So you can swim in that pool year round because it's heated. I can see the steam coming off the water. Yeah, it's so dope. And it overlooks the JetBlue terminal and the runway so you can watch the planes taking off there. Yeah, that was really cool. I would definitely love to have this overnight in the summertime and be able to go up on that rooftop. Um, they do charge a fee though to, uh, I, I was under the impression that they charge $25, but when I went up there, I asked the guy and I was like, don't you charge? He was like, no, not tonight. Uh, I don't know if he was just trying to be really nice or if they really just weren't charging tonight, but I didn't bring a swimsuit or anything, so I wasn't gonna swim. But yeah, I got my food. Um, so I got a, I got a burger, so. Pretty excited about that. Uh, I wanna eat my food. I only thing I ate today was, I got a breakfast sandwich this morning at Starbucks and then I had those M&Ms, but that's all I've eaten and it's like 8.30 now and I'm starving. Oh, I didn't tell you guys about what happened on my last flight. So the last flight um, flew from Boston to here to JFK. It's a short flight. It's only like 30 minutes. So those flights are really quick. So when the passengers got on, I gave them their little bag with the snacks and everything in it as they entered because it's such a short flight. So I want to make sure everyone has time to like have a snack and a drink. So once we ascended, um, we did our announcements and whatnot. And then I walked through and did a like a little garbage run just to carry the bag through. And I would headed to the back of the plane and I was just talking to the other flight attendant I'm flying with and out of nowhere, the plane just dropped and then went back up. I literally got air. It just came out of nowhere. So I guess we hit, they call it clear air turbulence. And it usually comes from when another plane has like passed through before us and they've kind of upset the air. So there's this little pocket and then we fly through it. So you don't see it. You have no warning that that's gonna happen. So the plane literally just dropped and I, I caught air a little bit. So it completely scared us and threw us off. Um, the passengers handle it really well. Like nobody screamed, nobody freaked out. Uh, we kind of just like sat there for a minute waiting to see if we were going to get another one, but nothing else happened. Um, and then our pilots called us to make sure everything was good. I did a walk through the cabin. Everybody seemed okay, but Lord, y'all, that shook me for a second. Like it just literally came out of nowhere, but luckily everything was fine and it didn't happen again. But yeah, those do happen from time to time. And they taught us about those in training, so... Yeah, we learned about those, but uh, yeah, let me go ahead and eat, y'all. I am starving. Uh, I think I'm going to watch a show on Hulu. Um, I kind of want to start a new series, so if anybody has any like suggestions for new series, because the weather's starting to get cold, so I will be home a lot, and I kind of need some new stuff to watch, so if you have any good suggestions, please leave them down in the comments. So this is my food, y'all. I ordered a bacon cheeseburger with fries, side of the ketchup, and I think this is mayo, even though I don't, I hate mayo, so I won't be eating that. But yeah, and it came with this um, adorable little Coke <laughs> bottle with it. So yeah. I am all done eating, y'all. That food did not stand a chance. I devoured it. I was so starving. Now I've gone ahead and put on my pajamas on. I have still have my hoodie on because hoodies are life and they just make me feel cozy. So <clears throat> I was gonna watch a movie on my laptop, but I don't know what the Wi-Fi password is. Normally when you check into the hotels in your little room card key, they put a little piece of paper that'll say like the Wi-Fi password or they'll um, write it on it, but there's no Wi-Fi password. 
And I tried to use the phone in the room to call down to the lobby to ask them. But it just like puts you on eternal hold and then you never get anyone. So I tried to call it from my own phone and the same thing. Like nobody's picking up at the front desk like, are y'all gone home for the day? Like, it's still early. Like, where are y'all? Where's everybody at? So um, I was trying to use my hotspot for my phone. But it's just like not connecting for some reason. I don't know what's going on. But I'm tired anyways. So probably even if I had put a movie on, <clears throat> we'll fall asleep on it. I'm not going to lie. I need to get up and do like my um, nighttime skincare routine. I need to do it now because if I wait any longer, I'm going to get so lazy. And then I'm just going to wind up not doing it. And that's just, yeah, I got to do it. But... <sighs> I got the itis, y'all. I got the itis, but it's okay. I'm gonna be productive, get my get, wash my face, um, get my uniform and everything ready for the morning. We have a 6.20 report time in the morning. So it takes us like 20 or so minutes to get from here to the terminal we are flying out of tomorrow. So I think our report time is at 6.45, but we're gonna meet down the lobby at 6.20. So we can get on the air train and then walk over. But tomorrow is go home day. Uh, two flights. We fly from here back to Nashville. Um, I think we have like an hour or so sit in Nashville. And then from Nashville, we fly home. And I think I get back at like 3 or 3.30 tomorrow. So it's a pretty early finish. So that is ideal. I love getting done early in the day. I like getting home when the sun's still out, so that'll be good, but I will go wash my face, and honestly, I'm probably just gonna go to sleep. You guys, it's early, and I'm up, I'm ready. I got my bags packed. Yeah, I slept pretty good last night, actually. Um, I think I woke up twice. I woke up once because I was a little too warm. I had cranked the heat up too high before I went to bed, so I got up and turned that off, and then I woke up again because I was thirsty. But other than that, I slept pretty good last night. It's about 6.15 right now. So let's meet down the lobby at 6.20. So yeah, it's go home day. I'm excited and looking forward to going home, having two days off after this. That'll be good. But I will talk to you guys when I um, make it to the airport. I made it to my plane. Um, we're about 25, maybe like 35 minutes before boarding. And it's a really empty flight. There's only like 12 passengers on the flight today. So this should be pretty easy. Um, so like I said, we're flying from JFK to Nashville. I thought we had like an hour and a half to sit when we got to Nashville, but apparently we have a three and a half hour to sit. So that's gonna really suck. Finally getting ready to start the last flight of the day, flying back to LaGuardia. I'm so ready to be home. I'm tired. I don't know why I'm even that tired. I've only, I'm only working two flights today, but yeah, I'm ready to get home. It's still going to be early. I might stop by the grocery store on the way home and pick up some food, but we're in the home stretch, y'all. We're in the home stretch. I made it back to New York, y'all. It is a beautiful day here. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, and I am home.